now we're inside uh, and uh, what I want to show you guys today is uh, if you're getting tired of uh, coloring in pictures from Frozen 2 and you'd like to try something different, well, why not carve? And you're going, well, I don't have any skill in carving. Well, sure you do. And I don't have any tools for carving. Sure you do. All you're going to need is a plastic knife, okay, or a paring knife if someone lets you use it, but a plastic knife is the safest, and you're going to need a potato. And I'm sure you got at least 10 pounds of potatoes somewhere kicking around the house. So a potato, a knife, and if you have something to uh, mark the potato with, some lines, that's great. If not, just kind of put light marks of your um, plastic knife. Why a potato? Uh, because carving a face can be pretty straightforward. Here is an example of, of one I just did. You can see all my potato peels. I did it in a potato and it's a little face and you can see you'll be doing this by the end of this little session. Here's a happy guy and here we got kind of a grumpy guy and you can make him any way you want. The cool part about this whole thing is you're going to carve it and then you're going to toss it in some boiling water and then you're going to enjoy nice carved your carvings for supper okay so that's that's what we're going to do today and um, by the way if you're really into it you can use clay and, an, and a really sharp knife but don't bother that uh, carving just a potato is a lot of fun and that's how i started carving uh, now i do a chainsaw carving all the time and of course one of my heroes is mr potato head and uh he certainly is inspiring. So let's get going of what we have to do. And let me first explain to you what you have to do. So we are gonna have, we have a potato. You go, I don't know where to start. I don't blame you. So let's take a look. Your potato, this is, uh, so let's say this is the potato, okay? Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a flat top, a flat bottom, so it'll stand up, like uh, this guy here, okay? And then you're gonna make some cuts. So uh, the first cut you're going to make, by the way, is if you look at the top of the potato, well, let's pretend it's actually round, what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of paper at an angle like that and we're going to mark off the top of the potato like this and this will be the front of the face right here. Okay? And once we've done that, we're going to cut off those two pieces. We're going to uh, make a jot in like this into that pointy piece then we're going to make a jot in here and a jot in there and we're going to remove those and that's going to be the nose the mouth is right about there and the chin is there okay so that's what we're going to do uh, in this short little video so here we go plastic knife ready potato and if you mess up one big deal just get another potato you know uh, I have a lot of bad carvings I've thrown in, in, in the fireplace over the years. And uh, so here, you'll be throwing them into a pot. So, okay, so we've got one side. And now we'll, we'll get the other side flat. All right. And we're gonna, I'm going to call the bottom. Uh, this is the bottom. And you're going, well, that looks crooked. Of course it's crooked. I'm not, I'm not going to be fussy. And nor neither should you. You should be having some fun. So, okay, so there's the potato. Uh, and it's standing up and like I said up here, we're going to do the directions of uh, Putting that the nose right about here. Okay, so you need a piece of paper So you have a nice 90 degree angle. So I'm going to put a mark here and a mark there Okay, and you're going well, what do I do with that? Well, you're going to cut all the way down This way and this is probably the biggest two cuts you have to do and you're going well my knife is going crooked well Relax. It's okay. Okay. Make some noises. Pretend you got a power tool. All right. So then we cut that side. Then we, then we go down this side. Okay. All right. So you can see, just like your face, it isn't flat. A lot of people try to make the, the face flat and then carve in things. That makes it hard. This is the this is the magic making this 45 right here and uh, 90 I mean excuse me and then you've got it going okay so I once in a while I have to wipe it because of all the all the stuff around here so anyways 
Uh, so now I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put in uh, right here. Okay. So remember, this is uh, this one right here. Now I'm going to go with the bottom of the nose. Bottom of the nose. And then I'm going to go like this. Okay. And then I'm going to go uh, downwards and like that. So I'm following these instructions here. I'm going to cut that out. So I put it like this. Okay. And and the trick is when you're using the knife, I don't want, I don't, don't use, you know, don't go all twisty on it, but actually saw like this. Okay. And no, and no going twist at the end. You'll break your, your priceless potato head. Okay. And then like that. And then you go, it doesn't work. Well, keep on gently doing it and poof, look at that. It's out. And you're going, it's crooked. Well, straighten it out. No big deal. Okay. And then next one, try to make it level. We're cutting underneath the nose. Okay. And then we're going to now cut from. Okay. Okay. Right there. Okay. It's not quite out, but I noticed I didn't madly twist. I just keep on cutting it. There you go. Okay. He's got a pointy little nose, but that's all right. That's this guy. And I'm going to make down to his chin. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you're going, well, that looks like, eesh. and I don't blame you if you think so. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make his nose stick out. So we're going to find the center of the carving, center of the, uh, of the face, which is right about there. And we're going to go like that and like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the sides off where the nose is. Okay. So that's what we're doing. So there we go. So you can already see the shape, right? And then we do the other side. Remember, I want you to use a sawing action, not uh, twist and turn. You'll break off the fragile. And you go, wow, that's a pointy nose. Well, you can cut off ever so gently a little bit the front. And there you go. See? It's starting to look reasonable. Now, uh, you've got that in there. How about we get some eyeballs? To do eyeballs, uh, at least eye sockets, what you got to do is you cut into here. Okay, cut straight down. Okay, so you're going to cut. Let me just draw here. You're going to come in and like that, okay? And I'm just going to wipe that off because it's going to make a big mess when I start. Okay, so I'm going to go in and then, and then I'm going to go at an angle. Like this, start a little bit down, and there you go. You see now you've got almost, you've almost got a an, an eye socket. Not looking bad. Let's do that same thing on the other side. Again, take your time. No twisty, twisty. Okay. Oh, look at that. Did you hear that? I just tried to do twisty, twisty. Oh man. There we go. Okay, and you're going. Well, that looks kind of. Let's. Let's get rid of that uni, uh, the big forehead thing, and let's cut that. There you go. Okay. And then you go. Well, he needs eyes. Use the end of the uh, of the uh, plastic knife, and this is the one time I'd like you to jab it in. Okay, jab it in there, and then cut at an angle, but not too much, just enough, so we get an eye. See that? We got an eye. Now we got an eye. Do that on the other side. Okay. Okay. So we got two eyes, right? And I'm just going to get rid of that because I didn't quite get the. And then you're going, well, he needs a mouth. Everybody likes to talk. So let's, like I do. So let's get a mouth in there. So to do that, we're going to make it smiley, right? So we're going to. So we're going to just kind of follow that line and you go, my knife can't go around that corner. Yeah, you're right. So what you're going to do is take the knife, hold it right like that and just take little cuts this time. Okay. And this is where you can actually do a little bit of twisty, twisty, not a lot because you don't want to. Okay. Okay. So I got to do You see how that piece didn't come out? I got to. There we go. And and you're cutting at an angle. Okay. 
there we go. And I've got a of all this marker stuff on there. You can't. There we go. So I've got a kind of a smiley guy, but now we got to give him some uh, lines uh, along the face, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here and go to there. Okay. So we're going to do that. So what we're going to do is cut in. And, you know, it takes a bit of practice, but you're going to be amazed and you're going to amaze your friends online <laughs> uh, how handy you are with a plastic knife. All right. And you thought I was just for eating takeout food. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Looking good. Okay. And then you're going, well, that nose is not quite right. It looks so pointy. And you know what? You're right. So we're going to take off a little bit on each side of the nose, give it a 45, okay? There you go. See that? He's starting to come along. And then you go, well, what about here? He doesn't seem to have much of a face. Right at the bottom of the chin, go up like that at an angle and then Look at that. And see, we're starting to get a guy coming along. And saw there. And again, take your time. Don't, uh, it's not a race. And you will develop a new skill. Right? And then you're going, well, his head looks kind of fat. Well, this is where you start getting creative. Go, oh, I'm going to cut it there. Right? And I'm going to cut it here. Right? No, I want his I want his smile to be a little bit deeper. There you go. Okay. And then you go, well, what about those bags underneath his eyes? Were, you know, those old guys got bags underneath their eyes. And then you go, well, I'm gonna make a little cut there. Right? See that? And the shadows, it's the shadows that make it show, by the way. Okay? It's the shadows. And then you do the other side and a little just below the eye, a little cut and uh, you know and there and there you go give him a clean up blow his nose for him eh, right and then you're going wait a minute the guy buddy doesn't have eyebrows well to make an eyebrow just cut above the eye in a bit and then come at an angle down okay and look at that we've got we've got eyebrows so well, eyebrow let's give the other side don't want a unibrow there we go. And maybe give his head a little bit of a round look. So he isn't a square head. There we go. So there you go. And then, oh, his chin is a little bit. There we go. See, now I'm getting fussy. But that gives you an idea of how you do it. And any of these guys... Okay, and that's just a start. And then you can start playing, putting different faces on them. Uh, you know, you can get the Mr. Grumpy look or whatever. But try it with a potato tonight or whenever. And look at that. And they stand up. And they can't last forever. They're best in a boiling pot of water. And uh, have some fun. So all you need is a knife, plastic knife, a potato. Follow those directions. I have all here. And carve yourself a cool little potato sculpture. That's it. Now they're going into the water.